Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Jones from the West Virginia University Extension Service Small Farm Center and I make videos on increasing your farm success whether you are getting started locally selling at a farmer's market or maybe you are scaling up your farm business to increase your efficiencies. I'm here to guide you on your sustainable agriculture journey by putting knowledge to work. And today I will be discussing the top five reasons that you want an accountant. So we know that farms typically run on a tight margin, and this is especially true for small farms. You do not want to spend money on something that you do not need or services from someone when you can do it yourself, right? So when it comes to taxes, an accountant should be worth every penny that you invest. So here are the top five reasons that you want an accountant for your farm. Number one, taking advantage of tax deductions. So as an individual, it makes sense to prepare your own taxes if you do not have a complex tax history. But when you own a farm, or any small business for that matter, and you're trying to get a handle on expenses, doing your own taxes without knowing the details of the tax code can be a huge financial mistake. And it can cost a lot of money, think not just hundreds, but even thousands of dollars if you miss out on important tax deductions. And even one important deduction can have a significant impact on your profitability. So the United States tax code is quite complex and it can be difficult for any small business owner to navigate the ins and outs. So you should never feel guilty that you didn't know about this one specific deduction that would have really helped out your business last year. And there's a reason that there's a whole profession dedicated to tax code interpretation. So knowing that these dedu deductions exist and that there's a way to take advantage of them is a huge first step. So the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 was the largest significant change in federal tax code in decades. So unless you've studied these changes, you could be missing out on important deductions. For example, did you know that farmers are now allowed to deduct money paid to their children who work on the farm? Granted, there has to be a true employer-employee relationship, but this new law change has doubled the exemption for children under the age of 18. So ask yourself, did you know about this important deduction? And if you did not have children, then maybe you don't care quite as much. But this is just one example of why it's important to have an accountant, especially one that's familiar with agricultural taxes. So with an accountant, you can sit down together and go over every deduction that you might be eligible for. And this does not only allow you to take a hard look at your income and expenses, but also working through that process with a trusted, experienced professional minimizes the chances of an audit. So number two, accrual accounting versus cash accounting. So most small farm businesses use cash accounting and there are definitely some benefits to doing so, especially in the short term. For example, if you have a good crop year, then you can prepay expenses for things like feed, seed, fertilizer, and reduce your tax burden for the year. And you'll wanna do this business review with your accountant by November of each year, so you know where your business stands annually. And doing a review earlier will give you more time to make larger decisions for your farm, like if you decide to purchase equipment. You can also choose to defer payments into a new year depending on your profits or losses. The drawback of cash accounting is that it doesn't reflect the financial strength of your farming business. By contrast, accrual accounting gives you the opportunity to view your business through a wider lens. So this makes the method possible to manage your risks when and where you decide to take chances and how to grow your business. So which method of accounting will really depend on the type of farm business you engage in. So it's important to discuss this with your farm accountant. Number three, taking advantage of depreciation. So that Tax Cut and Jobs Act that I mentioned previously also made changes to how farmers depreciate their business property. So depreciation is an annual income tax deduction which allows you to, you the taxpayer, to recover the cost of certain property over time. So think about equipment or machinery that you might have on your farm. So when figuring out depreciation, you need to consider your wear and tear as well as deterioration of that property and whether or not it's now obsolete. 
So if you've been farming for a while, hopefully you already account for your equipment depreciation annually. But, for example, did you know that the Tax Cut and Job Acts of 2017 actually shortened the period of depreciation on equipment down to five years? So this placed property from service date of December 31st, 2017, and later, which does not include land improvements or fences, but now you can use five years instead of a seven year depreciation. Again, this is an example of why you should strongly consider hiring an accountant with experience in the farming industry that's aware of these recent changes. And you should know that if you find a CPA, which is a certified public accountant, then they have to receive continuing professional education credits annually to keep their license active. So a CPA would be aware of all of the latest tax code changes if you decide to hire that type of individual for your farm. So in addition to guiding you through new rules, you should have a strong relationship with your accountant so they can help you interpret those rules to your advantage going forward. And understanding how depreciation works can definitely have a positive impact on your profitability and your bottom line. So number four, saving for your kid's education. This reason might not be for you if you don't have kids, but it is important. And one of the biggest expenses that parents face is college tuition for their children. And while I know college is not for everyone, receiving some form of higher education beyond high school should be considered. And with tuition costs increasing across the country, it can be overwhelming to consider the costs and how it would be an option for a farm family or how you would pay for them. And by hiring an accountant, you can discuss the farm business and how to build in savings goals, whether for higher education or a different long-term savings goal if you aren't thinking about children. And if you are thinking about the future of your children, then this conversation will help you come up with ways to give them the education they deserve. And if your kids work for you on the farm, the new tax laws have doubled the amount that children under 18 can be exempt from on federal taxes, so they can work for the farm and save for the future. And since you won't need to withhold employment taxes either, it means that the money that you pay your kids for their work can go directly into a college savings fund or a Roth IRA. And the result is a reduction in your tax burden and tax-free college savings account for your kids. So number five, planning for succession and retirement. So if you hope to retire out of farming in the future, and pass along the farm to your heirs, then you need a plan for succession and retirement. Even if this goal is decades down the road, retirement is still within your reach with planning. This savings goal is much easier to reach with a knowledgeable accountant to give you guidance. And they can give you advice on a business structure to minimize your tax burden and reduce burden on future heirs or owners of your farm business. So by tiring retirement savings plan into your succession savings plan, your accountant can assist you in calculating the amount of money you need to retire on schedule and help you evalu evaluate your risk tolerance level and the plans will help you create a guide to save and invest for your long-term goals. So this tip is not only about money, but also ways to minimize potential conflict among family members, specifying what will happen with the business when it changes hands and whether that happens because of your retirement or untimely death. And I know this topic can be hard to think about, but take my word as someone with six other siblings and aging parents. Having documents in place in advance is much less stressful on all parties. And for planning purposes, you will want to speak with your farm accountant and a legal professional to put together documents for a smooth transition. So please do this in advance while you're still able to express your direct wishes. And if you have children, please do not leave your plans up to their interpretation. If you found this content useful and you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up below. And if you're looking for more content that will make your farm business more efficient and profitable, please be sure to subscribe and select the notification bell to get an update on future videos. And in the extension service, we thrive on good feedback. So please drop your questions below in the comment section and that will let me know what types of videos should be made next. So until next time, happy farming.
Toodles! Thank you.